A new JCPS school set to open this year still isn't ready for students. Its opening is delayed after failed inspections. And tonight, WDRB's Darby Bean and Jeff Gordon walk us through the building where students and teachers will begin the new year while they have to wait. This may not be the building anyone expected to start the new school year in, but the teachers and the principal here say they're ready. Once the kids get in the building, that's when your energy, you just come to life. And that's what we're all, we're just excited for. This building, Watson Lane Elementary, opened in the 50s and was supposed to stay empty this school year as kids would move to the new multi-million dollar Wilkerson Elementary not far away. But after JCPS announced last week that the new building failed a second inspection and would not open on time, it was all hands on deck, getting Watson Lane ready for the first day of school. The district has basically said, what do you need and we will get it done and they got it done. Setting up classrooms, unpacking boxes, Principal Sarah Alvey says Watson Lane is ready to welcome its more than 550 students with no timeline as to how long they'll stay here before moving to Wilkerson. And we have no concerns at all. We know that we can hold our kids. We had, like I said, we had hundreds in last night for our Meet the Teacher. We have a safe area for um, all instruction and learning and everything. So I have no concerns about this building. I've heard a lot of positive comments yesterday. I spoke to a lot of parents. I was greeting everybody as they came in and they're just excited um, and they're impressed that we got the building ready as fast as we could for our students. Teachers writing out schedules and preparing for students say while this wasn't the plan to start here, their mission of helping students doesn't change. At the end of the day, I want them to learn and be the best humans possible, you know, no matter what building they're in. Again, there's no set date on when JCPS will be able to transition over to the new building. In Louisville, Darby Bean, WDRB News.